Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com and in this short video we'll be working with our live HTML module. In particular, we'll be working with multilingual content or dynamic content localization. So let's get started. Basically, what we have is two languages enabled on this .index 7 side. We have the default English and a Spanish language enabled. Now, if you need to go ahead and enable multiple languages, you can do that from admin languages and you can go ahead and add uh, as many languages you want to support for your end users and visitors. Uh, you can click on add new language and choose a language and then click update. Uh, I've just done that for Spanish. Make sure the language is enabled for you, it to appear on your site. So once you've done that, what I have here is a page with our live HTML module and I'm going to go ahead and and go to manage. And what you see is a drop down on top that says all locales. It will also list your specific languages like English and Spanish. I have some content here um, about Google, which I got from Wikipedia, so I'm just going to paste it in here. This is the all locales. I'm just simply going to say what Google is. And I'm going to go ahead and make this bold. I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose Spanish. And I'm going to say for Spanish, I have a specific version that I want to show, which is in Spanish. So go ahead and make this bold as well. I'm going to hit save and return. So now I am in a default language. So I'm seeing the English version, which will appear for all locales except when someone wants to view the site in Spanish. In that case, I see the Spanish version of the content. So that's it. That's how easy it is for you to go ahead and add different content for each locale, uh, basically enabling you to uh, provide dynamic content localization to your end users. Thank you for watching this short video. If you have any questions or concerns, please do let us know.